Hi friends, welcome to my channel Lotus Geek. In this tutorial, we gonna fix an error in which you are unable to install the Windows updates and getting an error. We could not complete the install because an update service was shutting down. Before proceeding, I request you to please click on the subscribe button to continue watching more such tech and how to videos. Now let's go ahead and proceed. The very first thing that you need to follow is to open your settings menu. In settings menu, click on update and security. Choose troubleshoot. And in troubleshoot, click on additional troubleshooters. Here go ahead and choose windows update and click on run the troubleshooter. This one is the basic step that you need to perform while resolving this issue. If this doesn't work out, we are going to proceed to the second step. In second step, simultaneously press Windows and R key. It will open run command to you. In run command, type services.msc and hit the enter button. Here in services menu, find Windows update service. It will be in the alphabetical view. Here is the Windows update. Open it by double clicking on it and here make sure the startup type must be automatic and if the service status is not running click on the start button to make sure the service is running hit apply and ok button to make sure that your windows update service is running perfectly now restart your computer and check for the resolution if the problem is resolved or not if still the problem persists we are going to proceed to the third step. In third step, we are going to reset your network configuration. So click on the start menu and type here CMD. Run CMD as an admin mode. In CMD, type the following command. Net SH space Winshock space reset and hit the enter button. Now second command is net sh space winsock space reset space proxy hit the enter button again now as it is saying that you must restart your computer in order to complete the reset after that restart your pc and again check for the resolution if still the problem persists we are going to proceed with the fourth step in fourth step we are going to fix your corrupted windows update database again Click on start menu and type CMD. Run CMD as an admin mode. Here you need to type few commands one by one. First one is net stop crypt SVC. Now hit the enter button. Now second one is net stop bits. Third one is net stop wuau serv and hit the enter button now the last command is net stop msi server these are the four commands that you need to enter once we have stopped these four commands now in this particular method our next step is to open Again the services menu by opening run command and typing services.msc. Here in services find again windows update file. Open it and here in the startup type make it manual and if the services are not running, I mean the services if are running kindly stop this service. Make sure you stop this service in this particular step. Hit apply and ok button. Now open your C drive in windows. Find a folder software distribution. Rename it and give it a name software distribution dot old. Now again find another folder here in SYS WOW 64 cat root folder
here is the catroot folder rename this folder also as catroot.old now hit the enter button now once we have renamed these two folder again come to the command prompt and again let's start the services net start scriptsys now the second command is net start bits third one is net start and lastly is net start msi server now once these four services are started again type the exit and close the command prompt and in services check whether the windows update service is running or not again open it and make it automatic and the service is running hit apply ok button now restart your pc and check if the problem is resolved or not by now your problem must be resolved if still the problem persists there is only the last step remaining is to download the windows update assistant from the official microsoft website click on the update now button to download the installer i'll provide the link of this website in the description below so that you can easily click on the link and open this website save it in your desktop it is just of 6 mb so it won't take your time now run it this will check your pc for the latest updates and click on the update now button this will update your windows automatically by its own so these are the five ways to fix this error if still the problem persists kindly comment below for more ways of for the resolution that's it for my side friends if you like my tutorial kindly click on the subscribe button and share my channel share my video with your friends also thank you friends thank you for watching